Hey guys, okay, so I normally don't vlog on Wednesdays, but, um, God, like I'm shaking. You guys know I've been fighting to get to a thousand subscribers for a long time. That's a really big milestone for me. As of this morning, when I last checked, I was at 996 subscribers. I haven't checked since then. I've been like doing things like drying my hair and stuff, but I'm about to check right now. So I just thought I would log on and check with you guys because I got a text to check. So... gosh I didn't think that I was gonna cry this much um <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this for anyone who's new or who doesn't know like the background of the significance of hitting a thousand subscribers I have actually wanted to start a channel for about five no six years since now and I was just always too scared to but my dream was to have like a YouTube channel and then eventually someday get monetized and be able to do what my favorite YouTubers at the time were doing. I started my channel about a little over a year ago. I think it's been like a year and like three months or something and um, I've just been fighting for this. You guys know I've been just been churning out so much content and just like trying to get creative and make content for you guys and stuff and I just... Um... <laughs> And it's just been like such a big goal of mine for so long to hit this 1000 milestone mark. And I'm just like, I'm so happy right now. These are happy tears, I promise. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, relax. Um, but wow. I like keep refreshing it to check it to like make sure it's not disappearing right now. I can't believe I finally freaking made it. Oh my god, and then to see it like actually on my page, like it's 1k. They start using like the K at that point. That's like so exciting. Oh my gosh, but oh Trevor's napping. Of course he's napping when this happens and I have like emotions, but I think when he wakes up I bought a bottle of champagne yesterday and we might pop it open and toast because like I said it's just been such a long time coming but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for subscribing everyone who's watching subscribed interacts with my videos whether you watch all of them some of them this is your first one or whatever just thank you so much for supporting me in every way from the smallest bit of support to the biggest I just like Seriously, thank you. <laughs> I I can't believe I <laughs> actually finally did it. And like for anyone out there who is working towards this milestone, just know, you know, it happens in your own time. I had a goal of trying to do it within my one year and I, I went a little bit past and honestly, that's okay. I needed some time to like find my footing, find my style, find my niche and everything. So just know if you keep working hard, you stay consistent, you will get there. Um, but wow. <laughs> I just still can't believe that it says a thousand subscribers. That's so crazy. Anyways, um, I am gonna do a giveaway to thank you guys. I'm gonna wrap it inside this vlog and I wanted to do it within a vlog because number one, vlogs are my favorite videos to do. So I thought it was fitting to put it in here. And also too, I wanted to make sure it went to a viewer who is like really involved in my channel and stuff. So I will be doing a giveaway. I will announce the pieces to it a little bit later on in this vlog. But yeah, just for right now, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much <sighs> okay now that i've calmed down and <laughs> i've stopped getting misty eyed i did want to check something in my dashboard here before i was eligible to be monetized because you need a minimum of a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours which as of yesterday i had like four point eight thousand watch hours so i was fine on watch hours what i've been waiting on is the subscribers which obviously just hit so i just want to check this tab <gasps> oh my god and i already did google adsense so 
oh, I don't have to do anything. I had thought I had to fill out a bunch of paperwork, but I think I was smart. And when I started my channel, I already filled out these two first steps. And then I, it's just been waiting this whole time for my account to meet those two requirements. So this is just automatic. For anyone who's waiting to get monetized right now, I would definitely suggest going ahead and applying for the partner program right now, even though you're not eligible. It'll just automatically put your application through as soon as you are. Sign up for your Google AdSense account. I've heard that this is actually like the biggest step to take even when you're waiting, because this can end up taking two weeks on top of waiting for them to review your channel. So do this step right away. That way you don't have to wait Wait for it when you are finally eligible like I clearly don't have to and then they're just gonna go ahead and review my channel I have heard that this can take up to a month but hopefully within the month or so I can start making a little bit of money off of this channel and the goal is to make enough to reinvest back into the channel, so that means better lighting, better equipment, a new camera, which I already have a good amount saved up for a new camera, so hopefully that'll be coming in the next couple months. And yeah, so now my channel is on its way. <sighs> like, I knew it was gonna be today, but that was exciting for it to actually happen. That was pretty crazy. But I will keep you guys up to date on you know, how this goes, especially for anyone out there who does have a channel and, like I said, is currently trying to get monetized so that you can see the process and what happens. And also, too, just for anyone who's curious, even if, like, you don't have a YouTube channel, but you've just always been curious about this process, I'll definitely give you guys peeks into the progress on this, like, monetization and everything as things come up. Okay, you guys. Breaking out the champagne. Okay, so I was trying to decide what I was going to do for dinner. Originally, I said that I was going to make some mac and cheese for myself, but I don't know if you can hear me slurring right now. I should not be working with hot pans or anything like that because I've been celebrating. Really sad that I've been celebrating this whole time all by myself, but it's quarantine, so I guess it's like less sad that I'm drinking and ordering takeout by myself to celebrate something, so I guess it's okay, but... I'm getting myself ramen because ramen is my favorite food of all time. So I'm getting a fried rice and a tonkatsu ramen. And I'm just like monitoring when it will be here. It's still at the restaurant. But I'm like waiting for that to start moving and start traveling towards me. Okay. I'm just going to put it in like, oh, we are out of big bowls. Shit. Okay, so it's not like glamorous or pretty because it's takeout. But this is, or actually I should say, these two are the ramen. There's the broth. And then there's the pork, and then I added some cabbage. There's also green onions. I did take out the bean sprouts. I'm not a bean sprouts fan, so it's just cabbage and meat in here. And then I also got their fried rice. So I'm gonna put the soup in a bowl for right now and eat up. There we go, ramen in the bowl. And then my fried rice, and obviously I made a mess because I am a mess. So my celebratory dinner was delicious, super, super good. Don't know what I'm having for dessert yet, but I'm very full as of right now. I know I'll get hungrier later, but I definitely can't eat sodium again for like the next two days because ramen just has so much sodium in it in general. So <laughs> I feel like the bottoms of my cheeks are going to get really heavy. So I'm glad that I filmed my upcoming videos last night instead of today, like I was planning to do. So I have been dying over wanting to watch a Goofy movie for the longest time. It's one of my favorite Disney movies and just no one had it on any streaming platform. And I don't know why this took me so long to put two and two together, but we've had Disney Plus for about four months now. Like, what is wrong with me? Why is this now just occurring to me that a Goofy movie would be on Disney Plus? Like, I, I fail at life, absolutely. But anyways, I'm gonna keep celebrating by finally watching this damn movie, which I literally can quote, word for word like the first half of this movie 
and I can sing along to all the songs. It's really terrible, so I'm not going to subject you guys to it, but yeah, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my night and uh, finally watch this damn thing. Good morning, sunshine. Are you sleepy already? You just woke up. Okay, so these are going back. They're just like too big. I can't stand it. But we're actually going to physically go into Target. I haven't been inside of Target, oh my god, since like March. That's crazy. All right, I'm having Trevor drive because I just posted an Instagram photo. So I want to answer comments and stuff. Just, you know, be present for the people interacting with my Instagram post. It's the one where I announced that I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Finally, I was wondering if you were ever gonna come in the car. Oh, and uh, good afternoon to you. <laughs> I don't even get a thank you for scooting the seat back for you. Oh, I thought you left it closed up on purpose. I scooted it back. It oh, just wasn't you. as far back as you needed it. I, I because don't know I literally I cannot that. get into a vehicle. I know. I oh, to there. sit that far up. All right, to Target. Sarah's Yay, driving by target. herself. What, they can see that I'm in the passenger seat. I know. But you're... Here's Trevor. He's driving. Damn it, I wanted to be mysterious. <laughs> Go. Well, I'm glad I was recording for you to call me a psycho. <laughs> Alright. We are at Target. And Trevor's being a butthole. Like a child. <laughs> Target trip successful. I'm so excited. We got new salad bowls. Look at how aesthetic these are. Uh, I can't wait to make a salad. I'm almost sad that I'm not gonna make a salad today. Maybe I'll make one for dinner actually. We're about to go get sandwiches, so that's why I'm not making one for lunch. But actually, I am gonna make a salad tonight because I'm gonna make mac and cheese and have a with a salad on the side. What? Nothing. Are you laughing at me in the mask? I mean. You want some mac and cheese tonight? Can we go back? Hello? Um, um, sure. Did you just throw trash on my floor? Okay. Your whole Salt. car is trash. So Trevor just left for work. He's like working a short shift right now and he forgot like both his knives. He hasn't come back for them. So I'm assuming oh, don't be dropping knives, but I'm assuming he doesn't need to like unpack boxes right now. For anyone who is confused, he got a job at Home Depot helping like do stock and stuff just because all schools are shut down and then all school sports are shut down as well. In his before quarantine life, he was an athletic trainer. So hoping that sports comes back in the fall. Looking about 50-50. But in the meantime, he's been working at Home Depot. So he has these little box knives that I just realized I could use to unbox my own stuff. So I have a couple of packages right here I wanted to unbox for you. I'm watching Keaton Milburn right now on YouTube. I just got into her channel, I just subscribed. I just discovered her and I've like been loving all of her vlogs and stuff. She's like so freaking pretty. So for this first package, Oh my god, this is so much easier than using my keys, as it should be. <laughs> um, but for this first package, I was running in Dangerous Lulo on my coffee. I have an espresso, and my favorite is the Arpeggio. I usually get the Arpeggio and like one other flavor. I like to like experiment and get another flavor, but this time I was like, you know what? Every single time I go to do coffee, I always reach for the arpeggio and I have to like force myself to drink the other one. So I'm like, I'm just going to get this one, but got this. And then I also got this package. This is from Miss Lola. I realized that I had like gotten a lot of clothing over like the past month, mainly loungewear, but I'm starting to get into like clothing to be able to shoot in for Instagram when we're able to go back out and stuff. I, I miss shooting so much. Michelle, I know you'll watch this. I miss shooting with you. But I don't really have summer shoes. So I ordered some shoes from Miss Lola 
and thought I'd go ahead and box them right here. Then I'll do a little try on for you guys as well. But they put them in these like little bags instead of shoe boxes, which I am so happy with and I'm here for that because like I always throw out shoe boxes anyways or if I don't they're just like around taking up space so I'm totally fine with them doing these little bags not a problem and then like you can use these as like dust bags for like small purses and stuff that you don't really need onto the shoes so like I said I wanted more summery shoes and just for reference I'm a size five foot I have very small feet but first off I just wanted some sandals just some mules that are easy to slip into and super cute so I got these I love gold and honestly to me gold is a neutral especially since I wear a lot of gold jewelry anyway so I got these it's just like a two strap mule with this little chunky heel very very cute definitely could wear this with a ton of different things and then the next thing that I got is kind of like a play on this whole thong flip-flop heel trend. And it is these black heels. So first off, I love the flare heel on these. I think that that's such a cute little detail. And then instead of just being like a regular thong heel, it's like a double strap. So I thought that that was like a really cool variation on it. And I've been looking for a pair of like black heels that are just like easy to slip into and super summery. And then finally, I got one pair of summer booties. I was on the fence on whether or not I was going to purchase these, but the more I sat with it, the more I was like, okay, if I don't get them, I'm going to be upset that I didn't get them. I got these. These are like a pair of white cream snakeskin booties. They have a little bit of like a Western vibe with this pointed toe, chunky heel, and then they're cut super, super low. So they're like ankle height. But I just like love these for summer. Over the last like year or two, I've gone really into wearing booties in the summertime. If you style them with a pair of shorts and stuff, it's like super, super cute. So I got these. So I'll go ahead and try all of these on for you guys. Again, I am a size five. So that's why these are gonna look like children's shoes when I try them on. So first off, these little gold mules. Hello, please get on my foot, thank you. Okay, these are cute. Oh, I like these a lot. Yes, okay, and then what I like on these is that they have a heel, but it's like a very, very short heel, and it's like super comfortable. This is definitely a height that I could walk around in all day. And then also too, so far, I mean, just wearing them for a couple of minutes, these straps are not digging into my foot. You know how sometimes you get like a strappy heel or a strappy mule and it feels like, especially this strap right here, right by your toes is like digging into your toes and cutting them off. It's definitely not doing that. And if anything, it'll even stretch out a little bit more from there. So love these. I feel like these are gonna be such a go-to, especially like with a pair of jeans or with shorts and stuff. These would even be like a cute, pool look if you wanted to like elevate your pool look from like a typical flip-flop these would be really cute okay up next we have these thong heels cute oh i love them so cute again i love that they're like a play on this trend but just something a little bit different and like i'm so into this flare heel, it just feels a lot sturdier than a stiletto. So yeah, cute. And I think that these are like the perfect height. They're not too tall. Definitely like a good height. Like they're definitely a heel, a little bit taller than those gold ones, but you know, they're not like sky high or anything. So super cute and they feel pretty comfortable as well. So I like these a lot. So then last up are these booties. Okay, so these feel like they're about the same height as those gold shoes, which is good. Again, that's like a really good height, but here we go. Okay, cute. I like them. They're very summery. My only problem is these are a five and a half. And granted, I am a size five, but like my foot is like, my ankle is like coming out of the back right there. Like it, like my, I feel like I could just slide these right off so and like typically when i wear booties they're probably more about this tall so there's like more to secure me in versus like this is just like open and then it stops so like that could be part of the problem so i'll have to see about these i really love how they look but um, you know maybe even with like a pair of socks though that'll help kind of fill in some of that space and it won't feel like i'm sliding out so i love the look of these but i'll have to like 
wear them around and walk in them a little bit and just like see how I really feel but yeah okay so we are gonna get started on the mac and cheese right now I'm not gonna show you guys like a step-by-step -step because I did make this a little bit earlier in like the quarantine vlog series is I'll link the one where I made it like right over here that's also the one where I cut Trevor's hair so it's a very fun vlog I think it's actually been the most popular quarantine vlog to date but I'm gonna make it with a salad so I'm gonna use our new aesthetic wood salad bowls I did clean these so this is good to go I'm going back and forth on like how much to make because like typical me would want like a huge serving but I don't know what's been going on with me lately like the past like three or four nights like after I finished my dinner I have felt so sick and so full like to the point where I'm so uncomfortable and I legit feel sick so I don't know what's going on I, like and then it happened again today with lunch with just like the sandwiches that we ate I still feel like ridiculously full and stuff and like I would normally do the mac and cheese later but I'm gonna have a call with my girlfriends at like 7 30 so I don't want to have to be cooking during it but yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's like my body's like pissed if I eat too much now, which like I guess is a good thing. But like at the same time though, I want to be able to eat my huge servings without, you know, my body judging me or anything like that. Anyways though, I don't know what's going on with that, but I think I will make a big batch for Trevor since he'll be eating some of it too. And then I'll just have like a small portion for myself tonight. Yes. But I did want to show you guys two new additions that I kind of got for this mac and cheese. The first one is like this little shredded pack. It's mozzarella and cheddar. Because last time I just did parmesan, feta, and cheddar. But I'm excited to have some mozzarella. And why is this open? I told Trevor you couldn't use any of it. Son of a bitch. And then I also got a pack of Tillamook shredded cheddar. I didn't care that I literally bought Tillamook shredded cheddar and a block of Tillamook cheddar. You know, I didn't want to do the work again, so I just got the shredded bag too. mentioned this in the last vlog when I did my refrigerator reorganization and tour but this is my favorite Caesar salad kit this is the Taylor Farm Caesar chopped kit and the reason why it's my favorite is because first off they shred the romaine which like I just love it's just a lovely experience to have shredded romaine and also for the croutons in this it's like these like Crouton crumbs, which I know probably doesn't sound appealing, but it's actually really good. Makes a really smooth salad, and then their dressing is really good too. So just overall, a wonderful Caesar salad kit. If you're ever looking for one, the Caesar one I feel like is hard to find. I can only ever really find it at Pavilions or Vons. Kind of depends on what it's called in your area, but that would be where you can get them. And this is what I'm talking about. You see how it's just like all shredded, everything's all fine. Just like I said, a very smooth experience. And you guys this bowl <laughs> I love this so much like this is like aesthetics goals I can't wait to put an even bigger salad in here this isn't doing it justice because this could be so much prettier but I can't eat that much right now my stomach's getting mad at me so I'm just making a small salad then a small serving of mac and cheese but just taking a moment to appreciate these new bowls all right so it's Friday and it's the afternoon I just made my salad guys seriously this bowl I just like obsessed so crazy obsessed like that looks so good 
now that I have like a full salad in there because that Caesar last night definitely did not do this bowl justice. But I am still working right now. Just taking a quick lunch break at the moment. But I've made a decision on my hair. I'm so over this. I, th these roots, I'm done. I can't stand it anymore. And I was talking to my neighbor actually and our dogs run in and out of each other's apartments like all freaking day long. So we've just been like considering us and them like quarantined as a group because the dogs are passing germs back and forth between our apartments anyway. So we are not quarantining from each other. We're quarantined like as a quad here. She actually does hair. She has like a license and everything. She like more freelances for hair and she said that she could just touch up my roots for me. So we're gonna order the stuff and I'm just gonna have her do it because I, I can't stand this anymore. Plus they're getting like too long. Like when it comes to bleaching your hair, you have to touch it up very regularly because the heat from your scalp will heat up the bleach much more than like further out, obviously. So if these get too long, which they are pretty much at that point, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get an orange band right through here. No matter what my hairdresser does, it's gonna happen because my scalp is heating up this section faster than this section. So before it gets any worse than it needs to get, we're gonna order everything and she's just gonna do it because at this point I would rather have it done but not perfect than try to go back and do it then it takes like three sessions to fix so uh, I don't know when the stuff is gonna come in I still need to text her and let her know what to get and we're gonna do my hair because I can't stand it so that'll definitely be coming up soon here but for right now I am gonna just eat my lunch and hang out and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later so it's the afternoon now and Trevor and I, there he is, are walking to, well just walk, but we're also gonna get some ice cream. We're gonna go to Rite Aid, because they have thrifty ice cream. Chocolate malted crunch is my favorite of all time, but it's like super hot out here, so ice cream is definitely needed, 100%. So apparently the ice cream section at Rite Aid is closed now. COVID. So, yeah, that's a, that's a, freaking bummer but we're gonna walk back home and get the car and then go drive to get ice cream somewhere else because sarah's bound and determined for ice cream <laughs> and we're gonna bring the puppy are we going on a car ride <gasps> okay now i can go <laughs> i don't know what was that, that was. him yeah oh my god what was that <laughs> I got chocolate and peanut butter and then mint chip underneath. You guys can't see it because these scoops are huge. Trevor got his mint chip milkshake. And Spartacus is just watching. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. So I just got back from my neighbor's house and we just ordered the bleach, the developer, the toner, everything. We are gonna fix this situation. I'm so, so excited 
and so freaking relieved right now but trevor is at his mom's for right now and i'm just relaxing watching youtube and then if he's still gonna be there for a little while i think i'm gonna do a workout and i'm not really sure what we're up to today i might try to do a youtube video that's a little bit of a project but we'll see but yeah for right now we're just chilling this morning there's spartacus say hi he's a little upset with me because i went over to um our neighbor's place and he and their dog get along really well you guys have seen Tyrion on the vlogs before but they got a new dog and he and the new dog don't really get along that well so I couldn't bring him so he could smell that I was over there and he's like upset with me I'm sorry I'm so sorry you can play with him later okay I was about to start working out but I got a knock on the door we got a package that I have been waiting for for so long you guys like you don't even understand i have wanted these for like months probably since december and i finally just like pulled the trigger on it but this is an order from finish line go nice nike box clearly i got some new kicks oh oh my god so these are the nike zoom i think 2k women's casual shoe i'm a little concerned i had to get a size six i couldn't find a size five all right i'm gonna have to try these on this is gonna be close i saw these on delaney childs and i've been like obsessed with them i see that she like wears them to work out too so i was like ooh, i really want those those are like aesthetic workout shoes but i couldn't find them in a size five except for on asos but i won't shop asos anymore because i actually ordered the size fives from them and they shipped it to the wrong address by the way this happened like not that long ago this happened maybe two or three weeks ago so while all this is going on they shipped it to the wrong house i told them that it went to the wrong house and i caught it in shipping so i was asking them if they could like call fedex and reroute the package to the correct house and they kept saying no we can't do that we can't call we can't call for you and i was just like for real so their suggestion to me was to get in my car during stay-at-home orders drive to the incorrect address and just retrieve my package from a stranger's house. Yeah, that's the advice they're giving their customers is to go retrieve incorrectly sent packages from strangers' houses in the middle of a pandemic. So I canceled that order, but they were the only place that had a size five. So I didn't get these for the longest time, but I commented on Delaney's like sneaker video. I was like, oh, I really wish I could get those Nike Zooms, but unfortunately I can't because I can't find size five anywhere else. And someone commented and said that they had a size five foot as well and they got the Zooms and that they fit. So we are trying it so far. It's actually feeling good. I thought it looked like it was gonna be big, but it actually feels pretty good. Like I just wanted to make sure that it fits because if I'm gonna use these to work out, you want them to fit correctly. If it's just for aesthetics, I can like, you know, go with something a little bit bigger but okay let's let's see let me stand up all right here they are so yeah they actually fit pretty good i don't have any socks on so with like a sock and i don't wear thin socks i usually wear like medium to thick socks these would fit really well oh my god they're so comfortable <gasps> I'm so freaking excited. You guys have no idea. I've wanted these for forever. I'm obsessed and they're so cute. Oh my God. Love them so much. But they are not a running shoe though. So this is more for like weight lift days and stuff like that. I did order a new pair of running shoes and you guys, I'm really excited about them. You guys will see them when they get here in a different vlog. They are not your typical running shoe and they are the most perfect running shoe for me. These running shoes were absolutely made for me. You guys will see what I'm talking about when they get here because they had my name written all over them. Give you a hint of why they're so me. They uh, match this little tattoo that I have in the back here that you guys I'm sure have seen, you know, around in vlogs. So um, I'm excited to show them to you guys when they get here because I'm obsessed. <laughs> but anyways, for right now, I'm so happy that I finally got these Nikes. Like I said, I've wanted them for months and months and months, and I, I love them so much. Going for a TJ's run. I have on my new Nikes. Very excited about them with my Adidas hat, you know, just mixing things up. Right, so back from Trader Joe's, and I got their vegan kale pesto 
because I had seen on Delaney Childs' Instagram, she and Clayton have been making this like really delicious looking pesto toast. And truthfully, I wanted to use my regular Genova pesto from Trader Joe's for it, but they were sold out, so I ended up getting the vegan one, and oh my god, look at that. That looks so good and so freaking fancy. Okay, well this is just gonna be like the perfect snack. That just looks absolutely delicious. Oh my god. Basically, if you guys want to recreate this at home at all, this is just like some sourdough toast, the vegan kale pesto, mozzarella, and then just some olive oil and salt and pepper on the top. And then you just put it in the oven for like 400 degrees. I like my toast extra toasty, so I actually pre-toasted mine in my George Foreman to get the grill marks that you guys know I love, but let's try this out. This cheese is going to be so hot. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm. Okay, that's really good. We we're definitely on to something. That's delicious. Mmm. Mm. Highly recommend. <laughs> but anyways, um... Wow, look at that cheese just dangling off. That's beautiful. But anyways, I'm editing my April favorites video right now. It'll go up before this. So I'll put a card on the screen somewhere in case you missed it. But then after that, we will go upstairs and I will show you guys what I'm giving away for my giveaway and tell you what the rules are. Okay guys, so it's time for the giveaway. In honor of reaching a thousand subscribers, I did want to give back to you guys. So I'm gonna be putting together a little goodie bag of some stuff that I enjoy that I'd like to share with you guys. The first item is a face cleanser. This is from Ofra, and this is their foaming vitamin C cleanser, removes dirt, oil, and leftover makeup. Next up are a couple of Pixi products. The first one is the Lip Icing Lip Gloss. So this is like a shimmer lip gloss, and this one is in the color Parfait which is just kind of like a light transparent pink color and then the next item is their endless shade stick this is an eyeshadow stick in the color one and done and it's this really really pretty coppery color that's definitely perfect for the spring and summertime and then I also wanted to give away two items from my Amazon favorites videos the first one is one of the terry cloth headbands these are the adjustable headbands that you wrap around your head you velcro them in the back and they hold your hair back keep moisture and product out of there so that your hair doesn't get wet it doesn't get filled up with all of the gunk from all of your products and then the last item in this giveaway is the big one and I am going to be giving away one of the checkered crossbody Louis Vuitton dupes from my first Amazon video this was one of the most popular items on that video and for good reason it's so cute I love this bag so much it's just like super super chic so to enter is simple you just have to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below you can literally just say hi or say something more if you'd like i'd love to chat with you down there just make sure that your comment though does have some way that i can get in touch with you whether it's instagram email twitter whatever you prefer there's just no way for me to contact you on youtube should you win so please make sure to leave a way to get in contact with you this giveaway is only open to us residents i'm so sorry about that i will try to do another giveaway at a later date that i can do internationally but for this one just because of shipping and customs and everything I am gonna limit this one to the US and if you'd like a bonus entry you can follow me on Instagram if you do that bonus entry and follow me on Instagram though please leave your Instagram handle down below because I will be checking and of course I will be checking too to make sure that everyone who does enter this giveaway is subscribed to me to make sure that the winner is a subscriber and this giveaway is gonna close on May 10th at midnight PST so make sure to get your entries in before that and then I will announce the winner a couple of days later but thank you guys all again so much for being subscribers and for watching my videos and everything just helping to get me to that thousand subscriber mark I really really appreciate it I'll have all of the rules listed down below as well just to make it easier for everyone but I love you all and good luck to everyone entering Whew, okay it is extremely late I decided to start tie-dyeing at like midnight I don't know why, because I procrastinated. And of course that gave me like so much energy, hungry, all of that. It's a lot of work to tie dye. Let me tell you right now. Actually, all this stuff's right over there. That's it right there. And the tie dye is a separate video, which will either be the next video after this or the next, next, next video after this. Cause my schedule is regular video vlog, regular video vlog. So it's either gonna be the next one or three videos down from this. I'm not sure yet, we'll find out, but I'm starving, so I'm gonna do a little dessert. 
Because of my Trader Joe's run, it's so packed. What did you eat off of the ground? Was it the mac and cheese I spilled earlier? You just found it now? He's down here investigating what's been dropped on the floor for him. But a discovery I made, so this Sabra dark chocolate, that's actually pretty good for being a chickpea dessert spread. I don't even know what prompted me to buy it in the first place, but I'm glad that I did because I do like it. I was originally eating this with raspberries, but I found out the strawberries taste better. So I'm gonna put together a little bowl for myself of that for a little midnight treat. Actually more like 2 a.m. treat, but you know. Who's really counting? But you guys, I downloaded the sci-fi app because I love the show The Magicians. My friend Hillary and I are super into it and Netflix doesn't have the last season. So I remember that the sci-fi app is free. You do have to watch commercials on it though, be aware. But when I hopped on there with every intent of only watching The Magicians, I saw that they had Xena and you guys, I freaking loved Xena back in the day. Oh my god, that show just like makes my heart so happy. So that's actually the biggest reason as to why I waited till midnight to start tie-dyeing things. What well, was that? Plus I was editing my April favorites, so that's really the, the other reason. But it was definitely a pretty big distraction for me, for sure. My god, I'm like almost out of this spread. I went like right through it. I've only had it for like maybe a week. But it's really good. And it like is encouraging me to eat fruit for dessert, so that's good. And yes, I know that it's not great to eat fruit right before you go to bed, but I'm craving it right now, so I'm just gonna listen to my cravings. So here it is, strawberries and the Sabra chocolate dip. But, mm, 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 mm. That's delicious. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to eat this, watch another episode or two of Xena. By the way, I forgot that their episodes are an hour long and not a half hour long, so I hadn't realized how much time had passed after I had finished three of them. Again, another reason why I'm up so late. But yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this while watching another episode, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. And you know what? Just for anybody who stayed till the end of the vlog, I will give you an extra bonus entry for the giveaway if you're entering it. If you share my channel on your stories, I will count that as three entries. Just make sure to tag me. It's underscore bottled ambition. My Instagram is linked down below. And it can be anything. You can just like share the channel. You can share a video that you're watching. You can share this vlog. Doesn't really matter, but just like any kind of story to say like, hey, I'm watching Bottled Ambition on YouTube, I will give you three extra entries for that. So again, good luck to everyone entering. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much again for a thousand subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.